Hi, so my name is Ted Holkestad and this is my room where I work at King George Secondary. I'm also stationed at Churchill a couple days a week and um, there's one of us assigned to every high school in Vancouver. So most, most of us are assigned to numerous sites. So I'm a, um, a prevention youth worker. So our role is um, youth engagement and prevention. So a lot of our stuff will be um, in the schools. We do some outreach as well, but most of, most of the work we do is in the schools. So I'll come early before school starts. And my job is to connect with the students before they maybe start their day. A lot of my day will also involve um, connecting with outside people. So uh, I might make a referral to child youth mental health or to um, a concurrent disorders clinician or to our youth stream. Sometimes I'll support the families to connect to our SASE youth. Um, so we have a SASE parent stream. So uh, I will make referrals out to those various parties as well. Sometimes the youth might even require um, counseling like, a, like an addictions counselor, so I can refer them out to various programs or even um, treatment programs, or sometimes there might be a request for temporary housing. So if the uh, youth is um, seeking shelter, I might support them in that as well. So one of the challenges now, you know, for teenagers to make a set time and come in, and um, because of the cohorts, they can't come. They can't come with their friends as well. So there, there's a bit of um, a barrier there. But other than that, I think um, it's still pretty, pretty much the same. A lot fewer students in the building at one time, so that makes it challenging. Also, we're having challenges with uh, organizing some of the volunteer work. One of the things we're we're going to do, um, we've just started doing stuff on Zoom and on on Teams. So uh, creating opportunities for students to still have their, their social needs met that way. I mean, I, I, love, I love the work. Um, I've worked in um, addictions and mental health for 15 years or 16 years now. And so I've always, and I've, I've, I've always enjoyed this group of uh, students, like high school students particularly. There's a lot of challenges with it, but the rewards are huge as well. They show gratitude for, for you know, your efforts and, and, and it doesn't go unnoticed, you know. Um, one of the most memorable things I experienced, uh, I think that our capacity cafes are amazing when we have students share their wisdom and just to be there, to, to, to be part of that, to have some students that we have relationships with be willing to volunteer and come and speak to adults and to go through that process of uh, a capacity cafe is amazing to, to witness and you know, we always encourage adults to, if they have an opportunity to come and, come and be part of that. So yeah, I think there's a lot of rewards. 